So, the Law Society of Upper Canada has voted, albeit after a great deal of consideration and a close vote, to prevent law graduates from Trinity Western University's law school from being accredited as lawyers. In other words, other than for a, an academic exercise, the law degree is from this Christian University's law school, set to open in 2016, well, it'd be largely useless, wouldn't they? Now, I've been to Trinity West and I've spoken there. Seemed rather a nice place to me. Uh, here's what they think of themselves. What a bunch of fanatics. Yeah, expect more or less, because I would assume that Trinity will now shelve its plans for training lawyers because I can't see them changing their policies. Now, I honestly believe that this is genuinely quite obscene in what we like to think of as a free and open society. Now, the reason there has been so much time and money spent on this issue and why so many activists have so vehemently opposed Trinity Western is that the school is evangelical Christian and asks its students to declare that they do not indulge in sexual relationships outside of marriage. And marriage, they believe, is a union of one man and one woman. In other words, and you knew this, they don't support gay marriage. This is not about men and women living together, and of course nobody involved in this debate has called for more rights for such couples. No, as is so often the case, it is about same-sex marriage. But then again, in a way, it isn't. You know, gay marriage is the law of the land. It's done, won, achieved. Whether you like it or not, it's here and it's staying. The Trinity Western case is less about marriage and more about the right to disagree with the status quo, the establishment, conventional wisdom. Now, let's be candid here. Students tend to be more and not less socially liberal and permissive than the rest of society. And it could well be, perish the thought, that they cohabit before marriage. So if you're looking for a lawyer who rejects the Trinity Western approach, you're probably going to be able to find one. I mean, if you try really, really hard. But it might just be that as, oh, I don't know, a Christian, a Muslim, an Orthodox Jew, someone with more conservative secular morals, you want as a lawyer someone who does and did support the Trinity Western Charter. I mean, surely that is your right. Nobody is obliged to hire a Trinity Western graduate, but now we're being told that no lawyer has a right to be a Trinity Western graduate in the first place. Yeah, Trinity Western President Bob Kuhn reacted yesterday, I think rather generously, to the decision. Evangelical Christians in this country, as was evident from some of the things that I read out, as being publicly um, villainized, are, are, are not recognized for often being the minority that they are and treated often as a minority. But in this case, it will uh, doubtless have an effect on those people who feel that they're not valued in a public arena. They're not valued in a pluralistic society to the same degree that others might be. Quite right. Look, it's triumphalism and arrogance, the outward aggression of a minority group that has long been persecuted itself and denied basic equality and is still thus treated in much of the world that now seems to want to impose some of those ugly lumps of intolerance on others. I don't think for a moment that most gay people believe in this sort of approach. They're too busy getting on with their lives, paying bills, raising the kids to care about Trinity Western. They might not approve of the university's charter. They might not ever want to spend time with a lawyer from the place. But they don't believe in limiting the freedoms of others. Does believing in traditional marriage limit one's ability to be a good lawyer? I can't see why. There is not even any indication that the Trinity people want to touch the marriage issue legally. They simply want to form their students, all of them, in an evangelical Christian manner. Look, I would not have qualified to study at Trinity Western when I was 19, 20 years old. I couldn't have signed the charter. No, I'm not gay, but I'm not a bigot either. And I bitterly disapprove of this new wave of oppression. Trinity Western has a right to be Christian, has a right to be, if you think, Wrong! It just has a right to be, to exist. We certainly don't need any more lawyers, but we do need more people who believe in liberty, constructive dissent, and in genuine rather than plastic pluralism.